Ah, so Samsung has finally released, or actually on pre-order, which I'm not going to bother with, the S23. Oh, wait a second. It's actually the S14. If you haven't been keeping track since the 10, and since they renamed it the 20, and so on, it's pretty easy to figure that out. And just to say, and to put this forward, the S23 is not going to be coming here in about 10 years from now. Yeah, you're going to have to wait for 10 years before the actual S23 comes out. So, enjoy the amount of e-waste Samsung has just announced. Because previous models, yep, yeah, people are hyper upgrading because of marketing fluff and all that. Yes, that's what's going to happen unfortunately. And where else does it end up? In the landfill. But however, if you are a long holdout and you have been using the uh, S5, well, for some people, you're best to wait until the S15 comes out. What? Hold on a second. Wait. That's by next year. Yes, next year. The S15 will be out by then, or maybe in two years. Is it every two years, or is it every year? I've actually lost track. But still, just because the latest greatest comes out, doesn't mean your current device is just not going to work entirely. It's just going to stop working. No. Technology does not work that way. It's still going to work just fine. If you have the S10, it's still gonna work. If you have the S11, which is the S20, it's still gonna work. If you have the S12 or 21, it's still gonna work. If you have the S22, it's still gonna work, or S13. It's still gonna work regardless. Nothing is gonna change. The device is still going to be that same device you love. Well, as long as you don't uh, transfer junk data from your previous one over. Your best bet is to export your contacts and nothing else. That's what you got to do. That's what I do. It's better. No e-waste. Sorry, yeah, no junk data, no tsunami of problems that later on occur. You may know what that is. But you know what I mean. Shit happens, Edward fucks itself over. Older settings cause conflicts. They don't always blend in with newer settings. And different versions of Androids can cause other problems when you transfer over settings and mix and match them. Anyways, Sorry to mention that. The S14, yes. It's already in Indonesia. It's already being talked about. But soon enough, it's going to arrive in Canada, United States, and other places. And it's going to be a whole shitload riptide of marketing of hype. Because that's all it really is. If you can see past it, you can keep using your same device for years to come. The only thing you gotta do is replace the battery every so often. Because yes, those things age over time. I gotta do with this after a while. Not a problem, you know? Just like any other device that takes a battery. Over time they age. Over time you have to replace them. And there will always be replacement batteries available. Even if it means gutting the power bank. Those thick ones, of course. And put it into your device. If it fits. If you know what I mean. If it doesn't fit, well, that's a bit of a problem. But it should fit regardless. You gotta take it out and measure it. If it fits in the same capacity, why not wire? Why not, uh... A bit of soldering funding wire it up. Just gotta match the polarity and the data line. That's if it uses three pins. 
If he uses a fourth, well, that's trivial. <laughs> Assuming he can merge the two in the center without shorting it. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. Yes, I'm using an older camera. No, I don't give a fuck. If you don't like what you're watching, there's always another video to click on. If you like what you're watching, hit that button. Cheers. Subscribing is always free.